Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. I'm just going to show you an install we've done on this Toyota RAV4. Uh, we do sell two styles of the system, which is basically if you're familiar with your car, which you should be, you'd have the radio down here, a bit of an arch underneath there. So you can go for the OEM shape style, which is basically stops around here and just follows the shape of this radio here. Or you can go for the larger screen one, which is this one here, and this actually comes with this frame. As you can see, your fingers going all around. This is all included. Now, we'll pre warn you if the car's got a basic radio, then it's going to be fine, no problem. But if your car's got the navigation, it will fit fine. But what you'll be mindful for is that you will tend to have two roller bars here, which is for the AC. When you're buying a system for the original Navi car, then the roller bars are not going to slot on it. Now, I can see this has got an indentation here, but on the other side of the frame, there's no indentation. So, don't ask me what that's there for. Couldn't tell you, but the slide bars are actually behind here. But as you can see, it still moves up and down as you can do that with anyway. Uh, so obviously, you can still control it manually, fingers. So just be mindful for that anyway. Okay, so this comes in three styles uh, style one uh, tends to be a four core processor, uh, wireless car plane, Android Auto, uh, style two and three. You can um, go for the eight core processor on them, and it has the uh, wireless car plane, Android Auto. So this is the home page of style two. Um, so basically you can, uh, let me just double check on that one, the only unfortunate thing with that you can't change the KMH here, which you can do on style 3 uh, to MPH, so just also be mindful for that too. Uh, okay, so it's got the home page here which shows you the navigation icon, the Bluetooth icon, applications icon which takes you to the back end apps. Uh, this is like a skin changer, so obviously this skin you see here with the purple background. You can change this to many other different menus which are available. It's an online database, so basically you will need to connect your phone to that to get all the options up here. Uh, got no internet connection at this moment. Uh, there's your FM AM radio, as you can see. It's got um, it's got the RDS radio station name there, and obviously you can put the radio station names in there too, as you can see. Uh, let's just go back one. So if we go back to uh, navigation, um, Google Maps preset up because obviously it's pre-installed into the firmware, but you can download any maps of choice, Waze, Copilot, TomTom, etc. And I'll go into the Android and then you can assign it to that uh, short page, short navigation option there. So you can put any map of choice on there. Your Bluetooth, okay, so self-explanatory. You can stream your music through there. Uh, connect your phone to it. Um, if you're going to connect it with Bluetooth, then you can also then use the wireless car playing Android Auto, which is I'll just show you here. See, it's nice, quick, and responsive. This system. Uh, so this is the A Core one. So I say it just works like you expect with a tablet or a phone. This T Link one is obviously your car playing Android Auto. It's a multi-functioning app. So obviously, if you've got an Android phone, it's going to give you Android Auto applications on there. And this is brought today over my um, phone from my Apple phone. So this is the CarPlay side of things. So as you can see, this is a lot of apps on here. It does navigation, um, music apps, WhatsApp, any messenger app sort of thing, uh, phone books, uh, phone support, uh, text messaging, stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't do nothing like YouTube and Netflix or nothing, but obviously you can do that on the Android side, which is this one here. Uh, this is the Android, this is totally separate to that app there, so obviously you have your Play Store. So if you want to go into the Play Store and download applications, then you can do it that way and put all your Netflix on it that way, YouTube. Um, don't be worried if you've got an Apple phone. People always make the misconception if because it's an Android system that Apple phones are not going to work with it. Android is just the operating system where you download apps to. So instead of going on the um, Apple App Store, you now go on the Google Play Store. Uh, your Apple phone will work fine for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi tethering, uh, music streaming, CarPlay, all that type of stuff. So don't worry about that. doesn't really matter what phone you've got. Uh, so just go back to here. As you can see, I'd like to show you this, how quick and responsive it is. Um, so I'll just go through a few of these apps here. Uh, theme, I uh, don't know what that is for, APK installer. So it's a way of putting third-party apps on there. So obviously if your app can't, you can't get from the Google Play Store, you can download them from third party sites like APK, APKPure.com, uh, APKMirror.com. Uh, so, if it likes, if you like have uh, IPTV, IPTV at home, which is the digi boxes and all that type of stuff, then obviously you can get your software on these by downloading third party. Uh, CarMate is not something I've played around with before, don't really know what there is. Let's have a little look. 
Okay, well, this might be something that's relevant to the card itself. But as I say, I've not played around with that. I'll probably do a review on that soon. Uh, do fun me play. Might be a few games on there that you can play if you've got kids in the car or you're bored while someone's in the shop and you're waiting for someone coming out with the shop and then you're sitting there doing nothing. Back end settings, obviously, as you would normally expect with uh, Android, you tend to have a lot of the back end settings which you can customise the system for your car. Weather app, self explanatory orc. So if you want to add anything like a. Um, a TV box to it or anything with the RCA cables you can stick an aux through there and watch TV on there Bluetooth being through that boot animation self-explanatory car settings okay so this is relevant to this car itself as you can see down here I'll just go to terms of languages and stuff like that so they tend to be linked towards languages on the MFD display so the one behind the steering wheel if that can be changed so just see what's in there so obviously you can change your languages on that so that, that that's relevant to a uh, little display behind the steering wheel that is. Uh, so I'll just I'll slowly go down here to show you what it's got. So you've got your air conditioning, panoramic switch, hybrid information, um, rear screen, stuff like that. And the systems work with the original rear camera. So I'll put that in. So that was the original rear camera to the car working. So obviously that's uh, uh, without it's actually a plug and play so there's no need to modify any wire in there so obviously this will work too apologies guys I did make a little bit of a boo boo really in the video uh, where it stated that the original camera didn't work I'm getting myself all het up and um, thinking about other models and stuff like that so uh, it does work with the original camera so I'll just show you here Second, so as you say, it's an order to plug and play system, so there's no need for any uh, chopping of wires and stuff like that. Uh, so, as you can see, that's the original camera working. Okay, so you've got your chrome, which is Google Chrome, obviously, color. This is about colors down the LEDs down here. Uh, you can change them when the car the headlights are on. Dab radio, this is optional on the system, but again, you can add it through the car, play the Android Auto app by just simply downloading it to your phone. DSP, so this is a, as a built in DSP sound processor which is enhances the sound output and be, it gives you a lot of options to customise the output on it so if you're all a techie, techie guy when it comes to speakers, subs and stuff like that this will give you a lot of customization options towards that too file manager, if you know you know, if you don't it's just basically a lot of memory and back end settings and also being able to, if you put a USB pen in there you can see stuff on there uh, fuel, okay, so basically MPG, K, KMPH. I'm not too sure whether you can change this to miles per hour at the moment. It is just like a little bit of a fad up there. So whether you look at your, your, your fuel on that or on your, on your, your fuel gauge here by the steering wheel, it's highly up to you. Google, GPS Plus, um, just checking the GPS satellites. This map here is... Um, one that the factory stick on there, but obviously we don't sell it, we'll delete that shortly. There's an e-manual on there if you're basically stuck and you want to um, have a little look of how to operate the system. I will pre-warn you, a lot of the factories are not doing paper version of manuals no more, just because they won't pay for the print of it. Uh, they just see it basically, every time we do an update from like I Android 12 to 13 and stuff, then obviously the, the, the manuals get obsolete and because they do that many updates and add new many things to it, uh, they just end up having a load of paperwork that's obsolete so they just tend to put the user guide on here. This is the Android 13 and we'll just basically mentions here. Google Maps which I showed you before, music and this one here, music and video. So if you want to put your films or uh, albums if you're old fashioned onto a USB pen you can plug it into one of the cables of the system and you can get your movies and your music that way. Play Store, I showed you before, I showed you that home cut early, which is the radio station. Steering wheel controls, okay, so this is where you set up your steering wheel control mint of the car. So obviously we'll have to do that manual on this particular car. Some cars you get a, a digital CAN bus box. Not with this one, you set it up manual, but when you get a little box with it for different cars, then obviously it's all done automatically. And there's the YouTube app. This one's a DVR app here. Um, which is um, for um, a DVR camera. So okay, I'll just bring it to an end today, guys. I will. Um, I'll put all the contact details down below in the description, stuff like that. And then obviously, uh, if you got any questions, give us a touch.